So, uh, this is a Disney film I want to talk about quite some time now. Uh, but I decided to pop up Disney Plus today and watch it. And, yeah, it's my B-Day, my birthday. But, you know, I, I decided to watch it uh, because I was just killing time. And I was like, all right, let's start up. And it's actually pretty neat that this movie is on Disney Plus. Uh, this is a movie remastered in 4K. I do not have a 4K TV. Yes, I have 4K Blu-rays, but I do not have 4K TV. So the movie is presented in 4K. Or not presented in 4K. It's presented in Blu-ray, and it looked phenomenal. Um, but this is like that's why that's such a big deal. Is that movie has never been released on Blu-ray. Uh, because Disney would never release this movie out ever again. It's kind of like Song of the South. They buried it, but not because of it's racist like Song of the South. It's just because this just happens to be Disney's biggest box office bomb out of all their animated movies, at least. Uh, I think John Carter is their biggest box office bomb, but... <sighs> A lot of people don't like this movie, and a lot, and then, and uh, not a lot of people have seen this movie. It's since become a cult movie. Uh, if you don't know what a cult movie is, it's a movie like Dark Crystal. This movie flopped, but it has a audience with a certain group of people, and it ends up becoming super popular. Same thing with this movie Crawl. And I can I say, as someone who enjoys these movies, I enjoyed it on the same level I enjoy these movies. These are a lot better than uh, Black Cauldron, though. Black Cauldron is based on a book series, like I mentioned. Uh, it's based, actually, on the first book in the series, The Black Cauldron. At least, I believe it's the first book. Never actually read the book, so I can't exactly give you all the information. But you can look that up and look into it. I might actually read the books, uh, but I could tell you this. If I hadn't read the books, I would have already known this was based on a book without even having to look that up. Because... There is a lot to this universe that is not explained. First off, uh, the story is about um, Taran, who goes with his pig, to hunt down this black cauldron before the Horn King finds it and raises his army of the dead. But right there, it's like, wait, this pig can predict the future? What? It's not even explained in the movie. Uh, certain characters come out of nowhere, and they're randomly here in the story. Probably were explained more in the book. Uh, certain things like that. Uh, the, and there's so much more to the universe that they're just barely touching upon. Because it's, it's you know, it's loosely adapting the books, very loosely. Um, and I guess this movie had a lot of production problems from what I understand. This was very close to being Disney's first PG-13 movie ever made. Uh, it it's it was a PG when it came out, but they had cut it. And there is actually blood. Uh, there is this... When, when the Horn King actually uses the Black Cauldron, you see this blood just dripping from it. And, and then he raises his army of the dead. And I can see why this is a big box office bomb. This movie actually is pretty dark and scary for children like i can see this not being one that like a lot of children would watch and be okay with like i could see it being a movie that some children who, who are into more horror movies like me i was into horror movies i was into tim burton like at 10 or 8 and i was into all kinds of nightmare Before christmas frank and weenie this different stuff right i was into all that stuff and I could handle, like, the scarier things, you know. But, like, most kids can't. Um, so this movie, I could see why this is a big box office bomb. Also, it's just not that great of a movie. Uh, the main character, Tarin, I believe that's how you say his name, is an awful protagonist because he's full of himself. He's this pig keeper who thinks he's going to be some great warrior, and he's constantly gloating about himself the whole movie. And he thinks he's so great and so amazing, and it's like... Yes, that character learns his lesson throughout the film, but that's like, okay, so you got 90% of the movie, you hate him, and then 10% of the movie where you're like, okay, you learned your lesson, but like, that doesn't fix the 90% there. It doesn't. He's a very unlikable protagonist, and the main reason why that's such a big deal is because 
there are portions of the movie where you just follow him and the pig and then and then when he meets up with the other characters and they tell him off it gets a little bit better but for while he's alone with that pig it's just like this whiny annoying piece of garbage character um who's so full of himself uh, he thinks he's so great and it's irritating uh a lot of the characters here are not very good there's just the generic princess of where we do not know there's the guy who walks around with the flute and it breaks every time he lies like Pinocchio, which is very strange. I'm sure that character was either not in the book or was expanded in the book. Uh, but the worst character in this is Gurgi. Gurgi talk like this. No, I can't even do it. But he has, if this character has an ear, ear grating of voice, it's just terrible. Just a terrible voice. Um, a lot of the... And it, it just... It's, he's like the Jar Jar Binks of this universe. Where they get this annoying character to be the cute comic relief. That everyone involved thought it was cute and funny. When it really is just really irritating. And he's just not a good character at all. And... Um, yeah... For the most part here, I think the voice acting is actually not that good. It's alright, but it's it's kind of... I don't know if it's not mixed right or what, but some of the voice acting just doesn't sound right to me. Um, except for one character, the Horn King. He is the best character in this movie. And his voice actor, John Hurt, the late John Hurt, uh, rest in peace. Uh, he died back in 2017, unfortunately. But he voices that character so effectively that he makes him even scarier he is horrific in his design and that's another thing that's great about this movie is the design of the world and the characters and the, and the animation just makes it look so beautiful um especially watching it in blu-ray like the 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 colors pop a lot more it's it's more bright and beautiful even though most of the landscapes are very dark and very Like, grainy. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. for. Uh, but it's... I don't know. It's just a mess of a movie. The story here is alright. The pacing is not very good. It's actually quite slow throughout almost all the first half. Like, the first ten minutes are ridiculously slow. And, and it's ridiculously fast all at the same time. I don't even know how you could really do that, but it happened. Like, they made the face pacing too fast and too quick all at the same time and uh, it's just I mean I'm sure the books are better and I'm very interested to check out the books I can see why this is B Disney's big box office bomb but I don't know I, I get why people like this as a cult movie because it is kind of a fun fantasy movie with strange characters and cool worlds and yeah it's kind of a generic one and it's not very good it has a lot of problems but I don't know. I, I didn't. I look past it, and I'm okay with it. You know, it's not a great movie. It's not even a good movie. It's, it's, it's not very good at all, honestly. But I can say I found some enjoyment. I liked it for what it was. I appreciate this film for what it is. I can understand why people don't. So I would recommend it if it sounds appealing to you. Like if you're like, I kind of want to check this out. If you like movies like Dark Crystal. And cool because you probably will like this movie um now can i say uh that you won't find problems with it no but i i suggest you i i recommend it overall uh if like like i said if you like dark crystal and stuff like that otherwise it's not worth checking out it's not a great movie it is definitely one of the worst of disney's catalog catalog it's not the worst it's pr probably the worst is between home on the range chicken little frozen and frozen 2 and i know those last two are very controversial but mm, frozen 2 and rock break the internet are, are, are on the same level as each other and they're definitely my least favorites but uh yeah so congratulations to me for turning 17 on my birthday. Expect a video later about it. Or tomorrow.